Okay, so before I start this video, um, do me a quick favor, please remember to like and subscribe. It's free, it doesn't cost any money, and it changes my life. And as a small channel, that means a lot. Like, I'm dying for even one like or one subscriber. It means the world to me. So please, smash those shit. Okay, bye. Bye, have a great time! What is up guys, welcome to another video and today is going to be the third episode of How to Skills. Okay, so today we will be learning about the LSID which is a really important static skill to master. It's quite basic, I know some of you are going to say it's basic, but who the hell cares, don't leave the beginners behind. The humble l -sit itself is a great way to work your triceps, your core, and your shoulders. It also helps you to unlock skills such as the toes to bar, the l -sit to handstand, and the tuck planche. Ah uh, yes, I almost forgot the V-sit, which I still can't do it yet. Start by firmly depressing your shoulders. Squeeze the life out of them glutes. Firmly engage your core before fully extending your arms. The l -sit can also be performed by hanging on the bar. Pull your shoulders down and away from your ears. Tighten that core and lift your legs until they form a 90 degrees with the body. If it isn't obvious enough, you can do it on the parallel bars. Keep in mind that your shoulders shouldn't be resting on your structures but depressed. A mistake that beginners make is putting their hands behind their chest. Fix this mistake on the parallel bars or the floor. Put your hands slightly in front of your chest. Then straighten your arms and lean back up to the triceps to finish the movement. In the hanging L sit, do a mini lat pull down so that the bar is in front of your chest. Another mistake I see very often, which I used to do myself, is rounding the upper back. People make this mistake because they don't have the necessary tricep strength to lean back and straighten their body as they put their hands in front of their chest. To correct this mistake, you should sit in an upright position, place your hands in front of your chest and lean into your triceps to elevate your feet as you firmly depress your shoulders. This version of the L-sit will be much harder but more rewarding as you get a tremendous amount of tricep strength. The last mistake when doing an L-sit is simply bending your arms. So you won't get the necessary straight arm strength to perform any of the straight arm skills, such as the planche, front lever, and even as basic as a straight handstand. Now, with the mistakes all the way, we can finally focus on the progressions. It is recommended for beginners to start with a hanging L-sit and a parallel bar L-sit. This is because there's a bigger space between your legs and the floor in these two variations of the L-sit as compared to the floor L-sit. This is why the two support holds are very important when it comes to the beginning of L-sit training. In both support holds, you want to make sure your shoulders are down and away from your ears. And make sure your arms are completely locked up. Start by getting into either of the support hold and from there just start doing knee raises. This helps build the core for the next progression. In this progression, get into either of the support hold and tuck your knees as close to your chest as possible. And this right here is the easier version of the L-sit. Here's why the tuck L-sit is easier than the ordinary L-sit. Look at the angle of my arms when I transition from a tuck L-sit to a full L-sit. As you can see in the tuck L-sit, I was barely leaning into my triceps, but as I extend my legs, I needed to counterbalance which is why I had to lean more into my triceps, making the hold a lot harder for me. 
The same concept also applies in the hanging version. In this progression, you want to raise your legs as you lean backwards so that you have a rough feeling of how the L-sit itself feels like. Make sure you control the movement by leaning back onto your triceps as much as you can as you enter the L-sit position. In the hanging L-sit raise, instead of leaning into your triceps, you should do a straight arm pull so that the bar is in front of your chest. At first, you can use a bit of momentum to get yourself into the L-sit. And when that gets easy, try your best to control the movement by leaning backwards. The more you lean backwards, the harder the movement gets and the more controlled you are in the L-sit race. This method of training the L-sit race can also be used in the hanging version. Now you should have a decent L-sit under your belt whether it's hanging or on the P-bars. And now you can try the L-sit on the floor. It's easy, right? Psych, you wish. This tutorial ain't gonna be over yet. Because the gap between you and the floor is smaller, you're going to need more compression strength. Which is why your l is gonna look more like this. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. Start by rounding your upper back as much as you can and place your hands beside your knees. Now lean backwards and push yourself away from the wall as you raise your legs. Once you're at the top part of the movement, try to control the lowering of your legs. You may also perform this progression with your fingertips. Start by sitting upright with your back resting on the wall and your legs completely straight. Place your hands behind the knees and push yourself towards the wall throughout the whole movement. Then lift your feet up. This version of the core compression is harder as the wall is preventing you from leaning backwards and creating any excess momentum to make the exercise easier. Progression is basically holding the top part of the previous progression, so there really isn't much to explain. If you want to see more tutorials or other content in the future, please smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.